Hi, I want to run something by real fast to see what you see what you think. So, I'm not going to get into these articles. I'm going to put the links below so you can look more into them if you want to. But I just need the headlines to get to get to my point, basically. So, a long time ago, United States Air Force had a for real plan to nuke the moon. Okay, it was a a real plan, real deal stuff. All right. Now, there's a theory out there, and also. I don't know if you want to call it a plan or what have you, but there was a scenario where NASA was supposedly considering taking the Cassini satellite out to Saturn, detonating it like a nuclear bomb to try to trigger Saturn and turn it into a second sun. Okay, um, and that supposedly is the story, or at least part of the story of what really happened. There's a big catastrophe in the sky, um, these guys, the fallen angels, or we were tricked into doing it, or whatever shot a big light out of the sky and they were trying to trigger something but it didn't work it pretty much backfired there's a big the, the light fell the truth fell the connection was severed everything was mutated and that's kind of what is what the theory is okay now here's a real now these are just theories now okay and plans, but this suppose this really happened. You can research this as well. This really happened. Thing called Operation Fishbowl, where there was a series of high altitude nuclear tests in 1962. Okay, so according to this, look it up and look. Nuclear weapons. I know a lot of people. We don't. We can't really agree on what those, if those things even really exist. I'm not sure, but I can tell you what right now is. I think there is definitely they have a technology that they're not being honest about. That they're not showing us, and I think we saw part of that or whatever it is that they have with the, with the Russian quote-unquote meteor. So regardless of where your stance on nuclear weapons is, according to these guys, back in 1962, they took nuclear weapons and fired them off way up into space. That's what they said they, li they literally did. In fact, they said they had to uh, pass out safety gear to the people in Hawaii, because I think they, I can't remember now, but I think they did the test out off the coast of Hawaii or somewhere near Hawaii. So they sp they literally told people not to look at a certain direction whenever they detonated these things and gave them protective safety gear they had to wear whenever they happened. So supposedly this is a real thing. So my point in all this is, is how do we know for sure that they haven't done something like that in the f in the past? How do we know that since we since according to them they can fire nukes? I mean they said it's as far as like 248 miles. Okay, let's again let's not argue about that stuff let's just say that what they're saying is true so how do we know that they haven't done something similar to like nuking the moon or nuking Saturn or something like that in the past how can we know that for sure I'm not gonna say because people would know <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not so sure about that anymore I'm sorry I'm just not gonna I'm just not gonna accept the well people would have known about that I'm just not going to accept that because every Every civilization, all history points to one similar event. It sure looks something similar to what this is all, all three of these stories kind of combined, if you will. And what I find very interesting is so, right now, it almost makes me wonder if that moon out there wasn't the second sun that those guys nuked and destroyed. I mean, I don't know. I, I'm telling you right now, that thing is not no rock. That freaking not no, that's right. <laughs> that thing is no rock, man. That that changes changes shape, color, and size. I mean, seriously, we're getting NASA's lying out their buttholes every day. So I'm not saying for sure that that's the second sun or that's the light that was destroyed. But man, I tell you what, that makes more sense to me than some rock. And if you look at if you look in the Bible here, right? God said, let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the light from, or the day from the night. And let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. Let them be, um, and let them be for lights in the firmament of heaven to give light upon the earth. And it was so. God made two greats light, the greater light to rule the day, the lesser light to rule the night. Made the stars also. And God set them in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. And to rule over the day and over the night and divide the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. And then, they go, then God goes on to create, okay? Nowhere in this is it does it call is anything called the moon. And I do understand that the moon is mentioned in the Bible later on. It is absolutely mentioned and they say the word moon and everything. I believe even Jesus does. But the fact of the matter is, is that what we associate with the moon, it's nowhere called in the during the part of creation here. And I'm just and it just makes you wonder if after all this, if this part here 
okay, rule over the day and rule over the night, okay, but maybe there were other lights in the sky, maybe a diff another sun or something that would help divide the light from the darkness or divide the truth from the lies. So we have one sun for nature, then we have another sun that's our spirit, so you're a sun for the physical and a sun for the spiritual that we were fed that kept us alive. But now that thing is gone, so now we don't have that spiritual sun to divide the truth from the lies. And so maybe whatever the hell that thing is up there now is just a remnant of the spiritual sun that they destroyed. Because the whole projection thing, you know, and I'm open to that thing being a projection, but my only problem with that is, is that thing is so, the moon is so important to these guys that it couldn't have always, I don't, I just, I can't, I can't see that thing being a projection. Maybe it is now. Maybe that's how they're covering this whole, the whole second sun thing up. Is they blew it out of the sky, they're calling it a moon, and now there's a projection there. Because I just, but maybe it is a projection altogether. Maybe this is wrong altogether. Like I said, I don't know. I'm still trying to work it all out. I'm still trying to figure it out. I don't know. But I just, I'm, I just, and I mean, and look, and if you believe in the Bible, then you can't believe what NASA says. It's right here in front of you. God says it's a light. If, if it is really the moon, if that's what God is talking about, that being the moon, the, dividing the light from the day and all this kind of stuff. Then you can't say NASA's right because God says it's a light. NASA says it's a rock, right? So maybe it's a second sun. I don't know. And I, but I'll tell you. I'll tell you what, man. I don't know. Okay. I'm just thinking out loud, trying to figure stuff out. All right. I don't know why people get so upset. Like I'm hurting anybody. Like what these guys out that you're paying your taxpayers' money goes to, and what they're saying and doing every day, trying to tell me that that is more dangerous. Or I'm sorry. That what I'm saying is more dangerous and more toxic and worse to society than what they're saying. I mean, give me a cuss and break, man. Since when is everybody a Nazi where you can't even freely think anymore? Anyway, this is a picture of the moon from NASA, and this is supposedly a picture of Ceres. This looks like the same exact thing to me. So maybe Ceres isn't a planet, it's really the sun that people think we're seeing every now and then up in the sky. Because this looks like the same thing. So if this is, if the moon is really a dead sun, well I tell you what, it just looks awfully similar. I don't know man. So I'm just throwing stuff out there. See what you all think of that. So Thanks to everybody for listening to me kind of ramble on here and probably not make a whole lot of sense, but just disagree with what NASA says. So that's pretty much it, I guess. All right. Thanks to all the supporters and subscribers out there and people who keep trying to put this stuff together. Maybe we're getting closer. Probably not, but it's definitely better than just sitting around looking at Facebook, right, and not using our brain at all. Just my opinion. All right. Bye.